show you what I'm eating over here, in case you might be interested. All right, here's what I'm up to this morning. Got my Vans Ancient Grains, of course. I'm gonna eat some of those. Probably eat three or four of these bed dogs. And then I'm gonna have some fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries. So what's really interesting about the strawberry, you say? The humble strawberry. Well, you can go and Google this and fact check me, but uh, you're really going to have to search high and low and do a little more than just simple Wikipedia to be able to, to dig this all out if you really care about it. But these seeds all over the outside of the strawberry, though they're not actually seeds, they're actually the fruit. But inside of each one of these little seeds is actually a seed. That's not even the important part you need to worry about. Who cares? Call it whatever you want to call it, right? It's more of a rose than a, than a berry anyway, but call it whatever you want to call it. But you see all these fibers. Do you see all these fibers coming from every one of these little, whatever you want to call them. Call them seeds if you want to. I don't give a shit. doesn't matter. In the overall scheme of how this works, these fibers are like super, super tenacious and resistant to acids and all kinds of shit, man. They're really tough. So when you eat these strawberries, it's been theorized that strawberries are one of the very best um, detoxifiers for pulling certain metals, heavy metal contaminants, out of your body. Anyway, that's it. That's my opinion. My opinion. I'm going to go eat my breakfast. I know. Kind of had a change of demeanor lately, but YouTube's bumming me out, man. I'm getting fed up with it. I'm going to have this on my vans. I'm going to eat my strawberries. And then I gotta have my pre-workout and I gotta get my swole on today. Beet juice, baby. You wanna get a good pump? A lot of ways to do it, but beet juice, man. Good shit. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back in a little bit. Man, I'm late today. George is probably gonna kill me. He's thinking I ain't even gonna show up. Gotta get the beet juice down the hatch. Super, super vasodilator. It's really, really good. Makes your lips look like you got lipstick on. You look like a freaking clown. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So you got to make sure to wash that shit off before you run out the door. Or don't. Mm. Ah. Damn, that beet juice. Tastes good and hits the spot. Just earthy enough. Ah. Yet not overwhelming. So... I was talking with Steve, brother Steve, and George. George has got another plan going down. He's been working for quite some time, and he's almost got that together now. But I was talking with brother Steve, wanting to get a few real brothers together and find us a location, even now, if it's potentially a rental, just to find space, and I'll fill it with equipment. And we can uh, do all of our video stuff from in there together. And we can, and it'll just be for us. It's not going to be a public kind of thing, private. We can do uh, all of our video stuff in there, all of our training in there, create the exact atmosphere that we want, when we want. And uh, we could train people as well. And the reason that I would do that, if I can cover all expenses, that would be the dream. If I could cover all expenses, you know, well, then we can use that facility to conduct our other guerrilla operations out of there. You know, a place that would be larger where we could keep all our clothing donations and the non-perishable goods and all that kind of stuff. Cosmetics and, you know, hygienic items and stuff for homeless people or for people in need. We could run that out of there as well instead of out of my basement. And uh, we would charge to train, to personally train people that had the money to pay. You know, just regular citizens. And by doing that, you know, diet and nutrition. And I'll tell you right now that in person, 
101, not across the internet, I, I, you know, not any of that kind of long distance remote shit. In person, I've never trained with anybody or trained anybody. I've never charged anybody, by the way, but I've never trained with anybody or helped anybody with nutrition or even get ready for shows or anything that didn't make the best progress they had made to date in that period of time. It doesn't matter if it was injury rehabilitation, rehabilitation doesn't matter what it was. And the reason for that is just that somebody gives a shit. People that are rehabbing from injuries are coming back from something, you know, something unfortunate physically. Yeah, that's a big motivator, knowing that they're amongst family and people that care. People that care about that man and, and accept them warmly into the group. And it's not based on if they're a client or a source of income. Not putting that down for people that do it. You know, I tried to do some diets like that once. Um, it's like 80% successful because you know how I did it. I did dietary induced thermogenesis. You know, coupled with exercise induced thermogenesis later. That comes in later. But the way you know your diet's on board is if your diet, if your diet is correct that you've written, if the information you got was correct, the diet you got you wrote was correct, you'll know in the first two weeks if the calories are going to remain the same. That's critical. That's critical. The calories have to remain the same, otherwise they won't work. Calories remain the same, and in some cases, if they were haphazard eaters, there wasn't a lot of consistency, then I could turn the calories up. And it was actually a challenge. How high can I turn the calories up and you get fat to come off just from that alone? And it's not fiction or anything. It, it works. And that's why it really, people are not doing themselves any kind of a favor when they just uh, adamantly swear that it couldn't possibly work. Because the fact is, there are too many people real life experiencers who know otherwise. Just regular folks out there. Some of you know otherwise. You know, hell, Brother Matthew in the UK, he had phenomenal results. Phenomenal results with dietary induced thermogenesis. And I like to make a game out of it. How many calories more can I put down this person's throat than they were previously eating and now they're going to start to lose weight? Yeah, it literally works. It works. So when people say, you know, well, it doesn't work, and they're trying to promote themselves as having some kind of knowledge in the field of nutrition or diet, and they say that, they're, they're saying that to part of that audience that might hear that or people that have actually experienced it and know better. It's not like it's this, this unobtainable thing. I mean, people who've done it, it's not hard at all by any means. And once you grasp the understanding of what's going on, it's very easy. It's not like it's difficult. So anyway, in the flesh, it's going to be a lot better. But the whole point is, long way back around to my point, is that that could generate the income so the thing was self-perpetuating, uh, the undertaking, and then we could actually help without charge people that really needed help and were not in the position that they could pay. You understand what I'm saying? Those who can afford to pay, pay. They are... That's regular business. You give it your best. You do the best you can with them. All that shit, you know, above and beyond. As Freddie Smalls would say, above and beyond, brother. And uh, Freddie was very successful going above and beyond. And then uh, those who cannot afford, that are in need, you could help them. You could help them. That establish a real fellowship, you know, in the flesh more. So that's what I'm all about. I'm not about this perpetuation of this YouTube thing at a distance. That's all we have. Some of us is the best we can hope for. That's why I want to encourage everybody to, to live, to live the lifestyle, to promote the no bystander mentality and to practice it. To open yourself and become available to people around you in the world. You'll be better for it, and you'll make the world a better place because of it. So you know, the main thing is I, I want to get, I want to extrapolate and grow. I want more of it to spill over into this world, the real world, out here, not in the camera lens. Not only the two-dimensional videos of YouTube. I want it to be out here. And that's kind of what the camping thing is. It's just a bunch of us friends, brothers and sisters, that we're just going to have some quality recreational time together. That's all it's about. That's all it's about. It's not video opportunity. If you want to video it, you can. I don't care. That's not what it's for, you know. It's it's just to share some fun. I, I like people, man. I like good people. 
you know, other than good people, challenge my patience. They really do. Just because I'm old, man, I'm old and I've been around a long time. I'm tired of a, a minority of bad people or bad people with bad intentions, ill-intentioned people that have their own personal issues, and that's why they do that, but projecting that and making others miserable and somehow that they believe that that's a lifestyle for them to practice. I have, like, no tolerance for that. In the flesh, in the real world, I have really less tolerance. And I'm, I'm sorry, but it is just because my patience is just worn, ragged, and thin after a lifetime of just seeing it escalate in the real world. But other people, good people, people with good intentions, people that want to be more positive, people that want to do better, people that want to act better, people want to be better, people that want to share, people that are looking for that connection in humans, that human connection, that do care about their fellow man and woman. Those people, I can be around 24-7 and I'm happy as a, as a jaybird. Just completely thrilled. Completely thrilled. I saw a little brother here today again at Retro Course. The, the, the brother with his dad that comes in. Been training not in how long now. He looks better all the time, man. You know, I, I know he has some version of Downs. You know, not, not saying anything about that. All I'm saying is uh, that it just makes me feel good. It warms my heart to see that he's stuck with it and, and it interests him so much and he's made so much progress. He looks incredible, man. Handsome young man. Looks incredible now. And that's what it's about, man. That's what all this is about. Not fitness to be something where you gather and argue and fight, put each other down and just make derogatory remarks and shit about the next person. Right? It's to build each other up. To improve the quality of your life. And to improve the quality of lives around you improve your world, which is our world, that's what it's supposed to be about, man. That's what it should best be about. So we have some things in the works now. We're working on We're looking at it. And, and, and I'm hoping we're going to make it happen. I'm hoping it's going to come into fruition. Other things. Time's running out. Clock is ticking. Uh, I have some other projects I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. Uh, other things, not even to do with fitness or with my mental health aspect of fitness. Uh, I got a new ride that should be up and on the road by the time we get back from camping, which is coming up. And then I'll be sharing that with you guys. looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Because um, many, many of us ride. And you know, I got to, uh, the summer's dwindling. I got to uh, get back up so that we can do some riding. Maybe we'll video some of that. I think we shall. Looks like my camera's trying to die on me. Light's flashing. I guess the battery's quitting.